Hey guys, bringing you a do-it-yourself video today. We're working on a Toshiba laptop computer. And the problem I'm gonna help you with is if your computer is beeping at you while it's starting up. Um, it's not getting to Windows, it's not loading your operating system, it's, it's just beeping at you. In that case, uh, I'm gonna show you how to fix the most common beep codes that I see with Toshiba laptops. Most often, a variety of these codes, many of them are related to your RAM it, uh, being bad. Um, there are other beep codes out there, so if you can identify what code your computer is beeping in, if it's one short, three long, it, if it's four beeps and then stops, try to identify what combination it is, and then go onto Google and Google Toshiba beep codes and try to find out for sure, but I'm telling you, most of them are RAM related. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to address the RAM related ones, and if that doesn't help your issue, uh, again, try to find out what beep code it is, and if you can't find it, or you don't understand the fix for it, let me know, and I can help you out. But uh, assuming that it's a RAM issue, which most of them are, flip your computer over and get into your computer. Uh, hopefully, if you're lucky, you have an easy access door or an easy access panel that you can undo a couple screws, open up, and you can get at your RAM. Unfortunately, in my Toshiba, I don't have that, so I have to take off my entire bottom case um, keep in mind, watch out for them hiding screws under your DVD drive, watch out for them hiding screws under your battery, and watch out for them hiding screws under your rubber feet. So check all those places for screws before you go to rip off your bottom case or you could break something. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my bottom case now. Let me zoom in on your RAM so you know what we're working with here. So there's your RAM, right there. Uh, most computers will have two RAM slots, some will have one. If you have only one RAM port, you'll have to purchase a good stick of RAM to perform this test. Uh, but we have two, so it's a little easier for us. First of all, RAM, like other components, can come loose. So try to reseat it, uh, reseat, S-E-A-T. Uh, what that involves is unplugging them and then plugging them back, uh, making sure that they're secure this time and then trying to restart your computer. So the way that RAM is held in is by these two little spring-loaded arms on, on either side. You pull these arms apart and the RAM should just pop up like that. And then you can slide it out like that. So RAM has a long side, a long port and a short port. So it can only go in this way. You, you can't put it in sideways or uh, upside down. So take it out, put it in, make sure it's nice and snug, and then just press down and it snaps in. So do that with both sticks of RAM, and then try to restart your computer, see if, if, if they just needed to be secured. If not, then come back in here, and we're gonna test to see which one's bad. Uh, very rare that both of them go at the same time. Kind of like a headlight in a car. Uh, so we're gonna take one out, pull these arms apart, pull it out, try to start your computer. If your computer starts without those beep codes, it means that this stick of RAM is good, this one was bad, you gotta replace this one. Uh, I have a video link below in the description on how to purchase the correct RAM for your computer. Uh, check that out because not all RAM matches all computers. Uh, so you need to get the right kind. And if you have to replace it, why not upgrade in the process? Uh, make your computer better for the work you do. Um, if your computer still is beeping at you, put this stick back in, nice and secure, snap it down, take this one out. Turn the computer off, try to restart it. And then same thing. If it starts up fine, you know that this stick is bad, this stick was good. If it still beeps at you, you know it's not your RAM. Um, but if it's fixed, then you gotta replace this. So that's how you would address most of these beep codes in a Toshiba, because most of them that I have found anyway have to do with a faulty stick of RAM that has gone bad. Uh, so again, if you can't identify your beep code on the website, um, if you can't figure out the fix, send me a message. Uh, let me know what's going on and I can try to help you. I can try to walk you through it. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a message as well. And if you enjoyed this and it was helpful, like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.